Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Coach Corey here. I have a really short video for you here today because honestly, I'm having a hard time talking and I've been tripping over my words all morning. So I'm gonna keep it super short and sweet for you. I'm just gonna do what I can do. <laughs> you gotta love it. So today, I'm gonna talk with you very briefly about raw milk um, and why it will be best for you to stay away from consuming raw milk and to go for whole milk from your standard grocery store. This was something I was actually really surprised to learn from my dad, so let's set the stage here. Um, what does my dad know about milk? My dad, uh, so first of all, I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm from a very rural area. I am not personally Amish or Mennonite, but I live in an area that is heavily populated with those uh, different cultures and, and individuals. My dad is a milk inspector. He travels from farm to farm and makes sure that farmers are not milking in antibiotic cows. He makes sure that their systems are clean. He does water tests. He does milk tests. Um, he tests for bacteria in their milk tank, things like that. So all of these things, uh, it's important for you to know, all those things are regulated. Um, they're government regulated and it's somebody's job to ensure that your milk is RBST free. So as a side note, and now a little bit of a rant, I'm just gonna let you know whenever you see a dairy product, this is RBST free, duh. Of course it is. Okay, so what I'm talking about today, back on track, is raw milk. And what my dad let me know last night, so he's been a milk inspector for like 40 plus years probably. Um, he's in his 60s, I'm 32 personally, and my dad has done this his whole life. He went to Penn State, he's got a very, very solid agriculture education background, and last night when I was coaching him and my mom, I found out that there are some pretty hefty dangers to uh, consuming raw milk. And these quite simply include E. coli infection, salmonella, so pretty common uh, foodborne bacteria, GI distress, and I'm going to come back to that one. Um, listeria is on that list, and y'all, tuberculosis is on that list as well. So if that right there isn't reason enough to stay away from raw milk, I don't know what is. Um, GI distress. So this one, I don't know a lot about it, and I'm simply here giving you some information. Um, but we can, you can actually contract basically a version of Crohn's disease or some kind of bacterial infection that presents as Crohn's disease, where there's inflammation in the gut, um, and it can lead to things like mal malnutrition or malabsorption, um, where you're not able to, to absorb properly all of the nutrients coming from your diet. Um, along with that, I would say that the research is showing that it might be not necessarily Crohn's, but something called Yoni's, um, which is spelled J-O-H-N-E-S, almost like Johnny's, but pronounced Yoni's, and that uh, can turn to Crohn's disease. So there's definitely more research out there around that, um, but I definitely stand corrected. I was, I mean, I've, I've coached, you know, eat whole foods, as minimal, minimally processed as possible. And so raw milk kind of felt like, hey, you know, it's a whole food, it's minimally processed. Um, but I would, I would definitely advise you against consuming raw milk unless you personally are a farmer with a dairy cattle or uh, maybe you just happen to, to have a couple cattle that you, you milk and, and you take care of and you're familiar with the processes and how uh, you know, those animals live and, and their health and things like that. Otherwise, I highly recommend that you just hop on over to your standard grocery store and go for regular old whole milk. Um, I still don't recommend, you know, the two, the one, and the skim milks. I think whole milk is definitely the way to go. Um, but I absolutely wanted to let you know some of the dangers of consuming raw milk and just kind of setting the record straight because. I love to admit when I'm wrong and I love to learn. So that was one that I just, I was wrong. And now we all know. Let me know what questions you have. I'll be back here later.